Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathy. If you're new, then welcome. Uh, now I am doing a Goodwill haul video. And um, a couple of the items uh, I got a couple weeks ago and I forgot to show it in another haul. And the rest of it I got today, uh, Senior Tuesday, where we get 25% off. And um, I, I think I just got some good stuff today. <laughs> um, you know, nothing fabulous, but pretty good. Because usually it's been really slim picking, so um, I was pleasantly surprised. I also went to um, the Mall of Peddlers and I got some uh, a set, just one set of, um, I'll show you, I'll show you. Um, so let's just get started. Um, I just finished filming a unboxing video. So if you want to go check that out, uh, that was I got a really lot of nice things there. We'll see. <laughs> but anyways, um, let me show you what we got at Goodwill. This I got a couple weeks ago, um, and I forgot to show it to you because I, I put it in my bedroom. But um, I got this vintage handbag. It's um, patent leather, black patent leather. I believe this is Lucite. I'm pretty sure it's Lucite, the handle. And also the little buttons here. Uh, it does have a snap enclosure. Oh, I left the price tag on here. I guess I should have taken that off. Um, but it's really, really nice. Very good condition. Uh, the patent leather itself does have some fine, fine scratches if you look in the, in the light. I'm not sure if there's a way to take that out. Um, I'm going to have to look it up and see. If anybody knows, um, they can put it down in the comments below. But I thought that was really nice. Nice little handbag. Um, I also picked up this. It's not, I don't think it's vintage, but it's a Cole Haan bag. And it has that um, like leopard print. I believe it's cowhide. And um, they dyed it with a leopard print. Very good condition. Nice leather handle. Um, just excellent, excellent condition um, inside and out. I don't see anywhere on the handle, um, just, you know, there's no markings inside that I can see, just very, very nice. I'm not sure yet, I might list those on Poshmark, or I might offer those on a live sale. So I don't know if anybody's interested in handbags, if they are, let me know down below, and maybe I will offer them on a, a live sale. So, um, okay, so for today's haul, um, at Goodwill. This is one of the last things I picked up and at first I wasn't sure about it but then I went and looked at it and then I saw the bottom that is Floraline. Uh, Floraline Pottery USA number 401 and it was a good price so I did pick that up. It's in very good condition. Um, it has some little flaws but that is in the manufacturing. It's no nicks, no chips. At least I don't think so. I hope not. But um, yeah, I thought it was in really good condition, so I picked that one up. Um, I got this brass, because you know me and my brass. I got this brass Roadrunner. So he's a pretty good size. I was surprised he was there. They must have just put him out. Um, I also got this, I believe this is brass, and then they made it look um, old, you know, with that, um, that bluish color. Uh, it's a little horse, and believe it or not, this guy stands up. I mean, he does stand up by himself. Um. <laughs> okay, not when you're moving it though, because it's very, it's not the most sturdy thing, but it does, it will stand. Of course, not on moving objects. So um, I picked that up. Uh, this little planter. Isn't he adorable? I think the kitschy cat has something similar to this one. So I thought he was cute, so I got that. And look at this. Talk about cuteness. Oh my goodness. This one is adorable. It's a kitty angel. <gasps> look at that. It says, you're an angel. And I'm not sure who makes it. There are some numbers on the bottom. I'll have to research it. So cute. That'll be hard to give up, you know, because I like cats. 
I have to think about it. This is so funny because I saw this on um, Nikki's channel. She had a, a little mug like this, and I almost bought them. I wanted to buy them, but I didn't get them. So look at it. It's a little mug. This is a bank. It's a little piggy bank. And it does have something where you can actually... It looks like there should have been a key. Of course, I don't have the key. Um, so I don't know how to get this open. And it was... I could see part of the Goebel sticker there. So it is Goebel. Made in Germany. So I thought that was awesome. I'm so happy to see him. And he's in really good condition. Except for... I, just, I don't have the key. And then uh, speaking of brass, I got another brass item. This, um, there's a name for this. I want to say urn, but I don't think it's urn. I think it's like a U, U, uh, I don't know, a U or an U. Uh, Angela, if you're out there, you can tell me. Um, she's very knowledgeable in items. Brass, very good condition. <coughs> Excuse me. I picked up this um, tiki mug and I was gonna, I, there's so many stickers on the bottom. Let me take this off. I don't know where this was made. It looks like it was sold. Hmm, I have to soak off the sticker, so I don't know. It says something, but with this sticker, I can't read it. So if I, if I uh, figure it out, I'll put the comments down below. There's a cute little tiki mug. So nice. And then uh, I got this little dog. I thought he was cute. No chips or cracks, but he does have um, some paint, a little bit of paint loss, but he was adorable, so I had to rescue him. Then I got this duck, and I thought this duck was attached to the wood. I should have known it wasn't because um, they had not taped on here. But this is also, I believe, Goble. Yes, this is also made by Goebel, and I just love the details on this duck. Just amazing. And as far as I can see, there's no chips or cracks or repairs, which is pretty amazing because that tail looks pretty delicate. But it's so nice and in just excellent condition. And it does come with this little wood plaque. And it says what kind of duck it is, and it is, um, A spy bent pintail. And that's what it says. Um, I got this parrot. Now the parrot is missing something. It's missing a piece, but I thought he was pretty awesome. I'm try to carefully peel the sticker off. Usually I soak the stickers. Um, this is pretty new, so it's coming off fairly easy um, you know I live in Arizona and we have a lot of winter visitors and they, a lot of them do leave in April and May so I think that's why I was able to find things today is because there's not very many people left here in town because um, usually it's just slim pickings especially on Tuesday senior day but yeah I think I got quite a few things but this one, this parrot was, it's a cockatiel, I think. But he was, he was in, made in Mexico. Beautiful coloring on him. And I think he came on probably um, some kind of a ring or something. But I think you, there's a hole in the bottom, so you could probably stick him on a, some kind of a stick and put him like in a planter. But I had to get him. I just love him. So I picked that up. Now this next item, I'm not really sure what it is. It's some type of a like totem or um, some type of an idol. And it's made out of a stone. And I can't tell you what kind of a stone. It almost, it almost feels like hematite. But I'm really not sure. But I thought it was pretty cool. So I picked it up. This, it is on like a marble base. So I have to do some research on this one and try to find out what it is. And at first I wasn't going to get it. I was going to research. I forgot to research. <laughs> I ended up checking out. Um, but I thought, you know, it's pretty cool. And it's not a bad price, so I picked that up. It's really, really cool. 
Okay, and then um, I got this little bird. It's not vintage, but I still love them. It's a little tea light holder, or yeah, tea light. Um, I thought it was cute. This bird is blue, <laughs> so I picked that up. And then, uh, let's see. I think we're getting down. Um, okay, so the last item is this. And I don't know if this is crystal. Let's, let's do the Claudia test. Whoops. Well, I guess I should probably do it with the top off. And I just realized it's taped on. This is, a, I believe, a flower frog. Um... Tape. Oh my gosh, now it's stuck on me. Let me get this tape off. Okay. But look at it. Isn't that beautiful? So yeah. They had this with the uh, um, toothbrushes, but I know it's not for toothbrushes. I believe it's a flower frog. And this does come off. Oof. And get a little tape off of it. I have to soak this and get all the, the residue off. But they have a lot of tape. So that does come off. And let me see. Oh! I think it's crystal. Yeah, so that's nice. And there's another test. I can, They say you can, you can wet your finger and then see if it sings. <laughs> I'll have to do that later. So that is pretty cool. Okay. And let me show you, um, I'm gonna stop this for a second, and then I'm gonna show you what else I got. And that was the last thing I got. Um, okay, I'm gonna stop this for a minute, and then I'll show you the last item I got at the Mall of Peddlers today. Oh, one more thing I got at Goodwill, well, I forgot. I put it in a different place, but look at this. This little tear tray. And does that not scream mid-century modern? Isn't that cool? It has, I don't know if these are Lucite or if it's Bakelite, the handle up here and the legs. Now, I think this will come apart. Well, maybe not the feet, but this will come apart for easy shipping. So that will definitely come to a live sale. And then, the last item, um, I got a set of these, and I paid up for these. I'm hoping I can make a little bit of money on these. Um, I probably will sell these individually, not as a set. They're identical. But look at how awesome. They're really heavy. They're brass frogs. Solid brass. <laughs> really heavy, aren't they? Just awesome. But I am selling these individual, not together. I might even keep one. Um, but aren't they cool? I saw these a couple weeks ago. And I just like stopped dead in my tracks. But when I saw the price, of them, I'm like, ugh, I can't. But, um... You know, then you start thinking about things and like, oh, well maybe, maybe I can sell one and make, make my money back. <laughs> Anyways, we'll see. But I thought they were so cool. And no, he's not giving the finger. He's actually just uh, has like three fingers. I know uh, this way it looks like he's giving the finger. But yeah, those are just awesome. So and that's everything. So I hope you like this. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I do read your comments, and I appreciate your comments. I try to uh, reply to them, even if it's just with a heart. But um, I definitely do read them. <coughs> Excuse me. I had the fan blowing, and it's dry in my throat. Um, oh, excuse me. I had to go get a drink of water. Um, now my eyes are watering. Is that fan? I have my sales every Thursday at 4:30 Eastern. I also have a sale on Sunday nights with the uh, the Chatty Cathy's with Kathy from the Kitchy Cat. This week we're going to have um, Leanne from Crafty Kitty Vintage on. 
she was on last week too. Um, I love having her on. And I may in the future have some different guests on. I, I don't know yet. Um, Kathy's taken a little bit of a hiatus, but she will be back. And um, that's all. I think that's it. So until next time, I'll see you in my next video.